Today I'm giving my parents' garage floor a makeover by applying Rust-Oleum's Rock Solid Garage Floor Coating. I will be walking you guys through every step so that you can get your garage floors from looking like this to this. Let's take a look at the lineup for this project. If your concrete floors have any cracks or holes, you'll want to use this concrete patch and repair to fill in any damaged areas prior to painting your garage floors. My parents built this garage last year, so the concrete is new and in great shape, so I can skip this step. The Rust-Oleum concrete patch and repair should be used after cleaning and etching. Next, I have the Rust-Oleum Cleaner and Degreaser. This cleaner is formulated to break down oil, grease stains, tire marks, dirt, harmful silicates, and more to properly clean and prepare surface for painting. For this project, it's super important to take the prep work seriously so that your final floor coating adheres properly. Here is the Concrete and Garage Recoat Primer. If your floors have been previously sealed or coated, you'll need to prime your floors first before applying the final garage floor coating. If your floors haven't been sealed, then you can skip the primer and use the concrete etch provided in the Rock Solid Kit. Last but not least, we have the Rock Solid Garage Floor Coating Kit. It's an industrial grade polycuramine. This is 20 times stronger than epoxy, has a showroom quality finish and a no peel promise. The kit comes with a concrete etch, which is used to open the pores of the concrete so it accepts the coating. This kit also comes with two polycuramine burst pouches, decorative chips, and two foam rollers. Check out the description below for all of the links for these Rust-Oleum products. Let's get started. First, I started by sweeping the entire garage floor and slamming my head into the wooden shelf. Off to a great start. Now that the floor is swept, I'm going to add one part cleaner and degreaser and one part water to a five gallon bucket. Then spread the solution onto the entire floor. I used a squeegee to spread the solution evenly on the whole floor and after 20 minutes I took a broom and scrubbed any stained areas. After everything was scrubbed down, I took the hose and washed off the entire floor and then squeegeed the excess water off. Your floors will need to be completely dry before moving on to the next step. If your floors have any cracks or holes, now would be the time to fill everything in using the Rust-Oleum Concrete Patch and Repair. Before applying the primer, I did a quick sweep and vacuumed the cracks and around the edges of the garage. 
These garage floors have been previously sealed, so I will need to apply the recoat primer. You can tell if your garage floors have been sealed by pouring water onto your concrete. If water sits on top, your concrete is sealed and will need the primer. If water soaks in, you don't need the primer, but you do need to apply the concrete etch that comes with the rock solid kit. If you do plan on priming your floors, you don't need to apply the concrete etch beforehand. I used a paintbrush to cut in along the edges and then used a foam roller to apply the rest of the primer. My dad is going to insulate and drywall the entire garage eventually so I didn't have to be too careful around the edges. This primer must be allowed to dry for a minimum of six hours but no more than 48 hours to ensure proper adhesion of the top coat. Now I'm getting the garage floor coating kit all set up. I put all of the decorative paint chips in a bucket. For the rock solid pouch, roll side A into side B to break the seal, and then the entire pouch needs to be mixed for two to three minutes. Next, I'm pouring the mixed material directly onto the floor. The instructions say to pour the mixture in two to three inch wide ribbons, working in four foot by four foot sections. Each of these squares are five feet by five feet, so I poured on a little bit more mixture. I used a brush to cut in along the edges and then used a foam roller to roll on the mixture in my five foot by five foot sections. Next, I'm tossing on the decorative chips. Make sure to apply the chips evenly. You'll want to leave about a six to 12 inch section of wet film without decorative chips so that you have a wet edge to roll into when you're working on the next section. It's important to only mix one pouch at a time because these pouches need to be used within 45 to 60 minutes of mixing. Temperature is another important factor to consider. You'll want to apply this when the air temperature is between 40 and 90 degrees and relative humidity is below 80%. You don't want to apply the coating if temperature are expected to drop below 40 degrees, rise above 90, or if any rain is expected within 48 hours after application. The floors should be ready for foot traffic in 8 to 10 hours and vehicle traffic in 24 to 36 hours depending on temperature and humidity. Reference the garage floor coating kit instructions before starting your project and be sure to follow all the safety instructions.
Big thanks to rust -Oleum for sponsoring this video. My dad is so excited about his new rock solid garage floors and can't wait to get the rest of his workshop all set up.